Uh, Rory, well done tonight. 3-1 win here at Oriel Park. How did you see that? Um, I felt uh, the first half was quite even. They had a couple of opportunities. Danny Mullins had won from, from a few yards out. Ben Dorries had won at the back post. We got the goal at a really, really good time. A brilliantly worked goal at a really good time. And it gave us the the platform to build on at half time. We scored directly after half time as well. But it was maybe a bit, I think, from that moment on, we kind of were trying to hang on too much. And I felt for the first 50 minutes, we were good. And then I felt we retreated too much. But when you come to Oriel Park and you realise the quality of the opponent and, and how difficult a venue this is to come to and win, you can retreat subconsciously. And, and, and we dropped off too deep, allow them a real grip of the game and, and they put us under massive pressure. Brian's made some brilliant saves. Uh, we've, we've, we've looked a threat on the counter-attack at times as well and, and, and the penalty has probably put the game out of reach but I thought second half performance Dundalk were, were outstanding, they really were. Um, particularly after we went 2-0 up uh, I thought they were, they were outstanding and probably the best 40-45 minutes that, 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 that uh, we've been up against this season. Yeah, you uh, talk about uh, Brian Maher, and you know I think you have to talk about Brian Maher tonight. Some of his reflex saves were outstanding this evening. Aye, and people talk about Brian's distribution and, and his quality with his feet. Um, I don't think he gets enough credit for some of the saves he makes. We we, we played Drogheda a couple of weeks ago at home, and and we won the game three 0 and it can look uh, a convincing one, but it was nil nil after 15 minutes. Brian makes a a, a top-class save, and, and there are key moments in games of football, um, and he's made four or five outstanding saves here tonight. But um, when you come to Oriel Park and, and, and with their home record and with the quality they have in attacking areas, you, you're going to have to come under some pressure. And as I said, the second goal probably came a bit early. Uh, not that I'm going to complain about it, but we had 40, 45 minutes. They suffer a bit and, and hang in there. And uh, as I said, Dundalk were outstanding second half, but. Uh, we looked a threat on the break as well, and I'm, I'm really proud of the players, the efforts that they put in for the last few months. We've come off a, a, a tough couple of weeks in terms of going out of competitions that we didn't deserve to go out of, and, and we've responded with four points away to Bohemians and Dundalk, so it's a brilliant return. Another award and another one of the difference makers tonight, Will Patching, you know, two goals this evening involved in the second one as well. He hasn't had the season he might have wanted in terms of goal scoring this season, but he certainly made the difference this evening. Will's, Will's an outstanding footballer. He, he, he played through an injury uh, for the early part of the season and got a lot of criticism, uh, to be fair, and, and unwarranted criticism because he was playing through the pain barrier. We went and, and and got him sorted out, and he's came back a, a different animal, and the wool patching that we all know. Um, and he's the last two months, I think, his form has been the best that I've seen it, to be honest with you, in the last couple of years, for the last two months. And He's a special talent, and but he needs to stay on top of, of what he's doing and, and keep going, uh, because there, I think there's even more to come from Will. Yeah, we spoke before the game about how important it is all. Three points are important in every match between now and the end of the season to some extent. And that was again shown tonight. Shamrock Rovers beating Bohemians by three goals to nil. So important you collected the three tonight. And this has to be a springboard now for a real push. Yes, absolutely. We have our game in hand now on on, on uh, Wednesday night and we have to go and make that count. Uh, uh, and and that's the that's the objective. If we win our next two games, we go within a point of, of, of Rovers. And that's the objective and that's what we have to aim for. Thanks, Rory. Well Thank done you. Tonight. Cheers. Thank you, sir.